But we get ourselves underway and we get ourselves to racing. Arrow Ravindra with a really, really strong start. They start here today at the finish line. And look at them swarming already. It looks like Cooties had a really good start. And there's troubles in the background. Two already in trouble. Three, four maybe in the background have all found themselves in the wall on the run to Tamburello. And it is Ravindra who's got the good start. But crucially, I believe Cothadir did enough to hold off then to stay in second position as they fight on through and scrap now towards the Villeneuve chicane. You know, the one thing very good uh, good about was this particular start was Aro Ramda kept his cool. He knew he's going to be challenged for the first position. And then he also knew that if he just needed to get past the three corners, and he's exactly done that. The chicane between Valentini was a tough one. Now, I'm oh, at three. Hey, that was a close. It's more than close. It's a big hit. And Kothadi is around and up and over there with a huge hit. And that is not ideal for Oshan Kothadi. Kuti's got through. And somehow, Pratik Sonawana is up into fourth position here, going through at Piratella Corner. So he's had a storming start to this race. But Kothadi will not be happy after starting on the front row of the grid and now being behind by a long distance after a huge hit. Aravindra leads this one. It is Smuts in second. And now Kuti trying to hold off a third place at this stage as they go to the Variante Alta for the very first time or just the Variante at this stage there is Solomana trying to have a look down the inside it's tough to fight through this section they both come together and Kuti can't about hold it he'll drop way down after not having any power now to deal with on the exit Bantry going up good run of things right now and he's doing well there's the battle all the way back to 15th as this is Menno having himself in a little bit of a uh, position here as he tries to go off through the Tamarello chicane and move on towards the Gilles Villeneuve chicane which comes up as the second uh, little run that they have right now. What nice having Anwar in a little bit of trouble. Anu Raj, uh, we think they have had a tough little bit of problem. He's in a scrap right now here yeah, trying to get past uh, Roddy Rock and uh, he's trying to get through and uh, find a way by at the moment. Not going to be able to do that just yet but power on the exit is always going to be needed and there it is. Until Sab Sabla is right now moving up to the third position. As I look at the leader, Aru Ravindra pulling up a lap time of a distance of 1.5 seconds. Pratik Sonmane has, has gone over the grass quite a number of times. As much as he's not gone to the curves here today, he's got to be a little bit careful. Somehow, he still manages to hold on to the fourth. <laughs> uh, brake testing him there. I think no, it was See, he's having to play defensive back. It's a pack of six that look to try and work out how to try and negotiate through to the midsection of this lap, side by side, down the hill to Aqua Minerale. That's always a dangerous place to go. And now we can try and pick and choose. Minerale just gone too deep. Uh, there you have it, Aro Ravindra. What a perfect drive he's been having so far. But then the challenge is just going to get a little tougher. Oh, I love this. Uh, the view from the car. That, Driver's eye on view into the opening couple of corners. Aaron Ravindra has not had the best couple of laps. Real in, hand over fist by Stephen Smut. Here we go indeed. This is the fight for the podium now. He's done so well to pull that gap down. And Kuti takes the place and jumps up then into position number three. Just like that. It's as easy as it comes. Kunjal Salva did not have much to really argue against this. Cootie, though, for all the mistakes he's been making already, they confirm about nine seconds away from those at the front of the field. Can you see what? At the moment, 18 position. 18th and trying to chase on down. Look at the pressure showing there. This, uh, Rock does jump now up into 16th position. A couple of drivers running into troubles in front, meaning that picks up a couple places but look at how aggressive every lap there is someone side by side coming out of Tota up the hill towards Piratella. I wasn't expecting it one here today Solomon to be a corner worth keeping in mind as an overtaking place because it's really difficult to pass but today it seems like that's the place where all of these polos are getting the run to get those attacks that back in. Tej Patel, what a quiet run he's had so far today. Solomon up into fifth place and pretty much having, oh no, a commentator's curse. He's just spun the car. All the way up to 17th, fifth place. 
see Jamie Shaw also trying to recover back. He's got a great run out of the second of that, so he's already seen from the red arrow, which he'll have uh, as he's racing. That's where the car is behind, and uh, that's how he's clear of Raj Tula and up now into the top ten. On the brakes, turn one. Very nicely done, Tula looking to attack then on the exit to try and pick this one up, up into fourth gear and looking for the next stage here, moves back to the inside, trying to find this move and he's got a nose to the inside, he breaks later to make it happen, now that is commitment from Raj Tula, you don't often see that and there's someone off there in the grass as well, so that might be another position they potentially gain, but look at Shaw, he's coming right back here at the toes of hairpin, he's going to pick that one up. Uh, Solomon Barras here with us, so I'll continue on with coverage here right now. Looking down for the inside is Tula, who is now down into 11th place here. Can't quite hold that one off, and that was very nicely dealt with then as they go on forward. We're down to 11 minutes on the clock. Tula here. An aerial perspective here at this middle sector of the track going down the hill towards uh, the fantastic bit of road. You can see that battle between Jamie Shaw uh, there up in front for eighth position on track. That's going to be a key little fight that we're going to be seeing now. So Three cars have already gone back to the pit lane and I've just seen, was it Paige who said in this personal best, Oshan now in position number seven. This guy uh, is not going to go off with the other fight here again. He knows he's got two cars ahead of him. Can he make a fight to the finish? Look at the this steering and how much lock <laughs> he has got to try and do just to keep the car straight at this stage. This is a Herculean effort from Cofnadir, who's clearly got some crabbing going on in terms of having the suspension not straight. This is an incredible effort right now for Cofnadir to keep himself in this fight for a top five. Got, did you feel that berm there just on that curb? There was a quite a rude berm there. And uh, he's he's making it very smooth here. He's going to make life quite difficult. He's, he's on his way to get it on the stick. He's on the slipstream. He's got to get to the corner first again and maybe close there. Has he done enough? He looks to have done again. He, he should be able to come out onto that next corner. He moves up to position number six. Well done. It's a good move right in there. Final time here in this event. There is Ravindra, 45 seconds remaining on the clock. In fact, this is going to be a little bit touch and go, whether everyone is going to be going around for another lap here, because we are heading towards the end here of this lap, and it may just be one more. Lights flashing there to say, come on, flat traffic, please get out of the way. I'm still on a charge. 30 seconds left on the clock then for Aaron Ravindra. I think he may just force everyone to go one lap further potentially here to try and get himself over the line towards the end of this race. The two Ravatsa corners here, the two left-handers and the timer ticking itself down to just 10 seconds remaining. And I think that we are going to be just about out of time for one more representative lap around this place. This has been a storming drive and a lights to flag performance. The checkered flag comes out for him right on cue. Arrow Ravindra has taken victory here today in round one of the VVRC here at Imola.